This 3D specimen is called a dot .obj. They like to keep things simple, pretty much only consisting of geometry and UV data. When imported into Godot, all you need is a mesh instance of material, and any changes you happen to make down the way will be propagated correctly. When I was working on Kelso and new to Godot, this is all I needed at the time. Anything that needed to be complicated was simply a billboard sprite. It wouldn't be until the project was canned and then remade in order for me to realize that I wanted my characters to be more animated. Okay, surely this will just be another one of Godot's streamlined processes, right? Let's talk bones. This is bones. Bones are the lifeblood of any 3D moving model. Vertices deform around these bones, much like our skin deforms around our bones. Godot, like most other game engines, has support for bones. However, if you want to use them, you need to use a different file format than .obj. No shade, honestly. GLTF is a good file format. But past this point, I'm gonna stop pretending that I know what I'm talking about. Let's start by giving our object bones. And then, let's give it animations. Export it and move it into Godot, and what do you know? Seamless. You don't even have to make the material this time. Weirdly, it's a node, but I guess it has to contain all its information somehow. Okay, well I need to make sure the animation's exported correctly. Let's look inside. Oh, fuck! God damn it! See, you have two options in this scenario. You can either leave the model as is, or go into it and make a new scene out of it to edit it. Normally, a new inherited scene would always be your best choice, except for one small problem. Let's say, later down the line, you want to add another animation, or add a secret, special bone to your model. On re-import, I have had results vary from benign to borderline catastrophic, and this is only a problem when using inherited scenes. This means my only two solutions are to either have my model as the most perfect version of itself before I export it, or avoid using an inherited scene altogether, which bars me out from very important features like IK and bone attachments. And as much as I want to say this is just me being an ignoramus, there are plenty of issues online in the same vein. Pair that with how different the GLTF importer is compared to everything else, and you have a very confusing and frustrating mess to work around, especially so for new people. But those are just my two cents. I I'm open to change, and if anybody wants to tell me that I'm wrong and how I'm wrong, then please, don't hesitate to do so, I will listen. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk, and if you're here to see my dog Stogie, well, you're in luck. <laughs>